Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It's Moses and welcome back again to another Sims 4 speed build. So for this week's episode, it's a pretty short and sweet one and uh, it, it's it's not the most elaborate or fancy uh, of the builds I've done so far, uh, but I really did uh, want to to try my hand at doing like a kind of industrial sort of club. Um, it is pretty small, so, uh, you know, there's there's not that much going around. Now, before we do get into the builder, there's uh, one thing I just want to say, because I keep forgetting about it. It just keeps slipping my mind. I actually need to get one of those, like, little thing, you know, notepads that have the topics that I need to talk about, because <laughs> I think that would help a lot. Because a lot of the times I forget a lot of things. Anyways, uh, before I do forget again, um, for those of you that do enjoy watching my videos, uh, do remember to go ahead and check me out on Twitter. Um, because I really like talking uh, to you guys on on Twitter as a, a social media platform. Because it really just helps connect a lot and sometimes I chat about uh, some of the videos that I'm going to be doing. Or why there might be a delay or, or whatever, you know, something like that. And uh, it just helps when uh, I've got all of you on there. And it's just, it, it's, it's a fun place to just uh, chat. Uh, so yeah, don't forget to go and check that out if you like. And uh, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's my little <laughs> quick announcement. Uh, so in any case, back to the, uh, the build. So I built it on a pretty large lot uh, to start off with. Uh, because again, I just couldn't find the space. Um, but I do end up moving it to a much better location. I just went ahead and deleted a different building. Uh, and then moved it over there because uh, it, it fit the lot size a lot better. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I did another like fish tank in the wall thing. I really had to just do it again after the previous build because uh, it was... I don't know. I think it's just a pretty cool little concept to go ahead and work with. I, I kind of wish... Um, that they'd put more like horizontal windows in the game, like really wide open ones. Uh, but you know, what are you, what are you gonna do? So the one unfortunate thing which I only noticed, you know, way when it was too late, and uh, I am, you know, working on quite a tight uh, schedule at the moment. So unfortunately, I couldn't really go back and redo everything. Um, but yeah, the one bummer about this whole club was and it really does suck uh people don't dance on this dance floor um when i tested it out it seems that because of the dj booth thing being on the floor above um even though it's like a completely open floor yeah the fact that it's up there kind of makes them all go stand there next to the dj uh, which just doesn't work for me, but unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, that is a little bit too late. Um, nonetheless, though, I guess just looking at aesthetics alone, maybe not how useful the club is, because at the moment, after encountering that error, it probably, probably dropped down to about a two. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that was that was quite unfortunate to discover, but unfortunately, yeah. If uh, if I wasn't running on such a such a tight little schedule at the moment, I would have uh, would have gone ahead and and tried to I don't know because I would have had to redo this entire club pretty much uh, to fix that problem. So that they are. that's really unfortunate. So again, like I said, I guess just looking at aesthetics wise, uh, obviously not gameplay, but just aesthetics wise, I think it looks really really cool up there. Um, I haven't really gone and done much at the moment but you'll see once i am done it it really looks so cool up there it's like this kind of vip section as well um so yeah it, it's 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 a bummer but you know what are you what are you gonna do hopefully uh, this does at least inspire some ideas nonetheless uh yeah so the inside like really industrial looking uh brick walls graffiti everywhere with like just posters slammed onto the walls and then uh of course, yeah, at the bar, I, I kind of closed it off. And uh, at first, I wasn't quite sure if uh, I should put the door there or not. 
But I don't know, I just uh, went with it and it looks good. I like it. And I like the little back section that it connects to there with the, the fence because that also leads up to the, uh, the DJ area. So, you know, to get to those two places, you actually have to go outside. I don't know. I, I thought uh, I thought it was pretty cool. And then, of course, like a little lounge here to chill, you know, if you're done dancing. Uh, originally, I did do this whole kind of wall thing, and I was thinking uh, maybe open it up uh, with glass, you know, so if you want to go into the lounge area and just chill and maybe not have uh, that much music blasting in your ears, then you could go in there. Uh, but I, I, I ended up removing it because it just didn't feel quite right. It, it's a cool idea, uh, something I do want to try and work with at a, at a later stage. But uh, for this build, it just, yeah, it uh, it did not work. <laughs> so, yeah, I removed it and uh, just did something else, uh, which was just chucking them into the corners, kind of um, having funny rotations like that with, with the coffee table. Uh, yeah, just to, to, I don't know. I think that was why it didn't work, if I'm actually not mistaken, was because of the fact that uh, then, you know, you could kind of see in from above or I'd have to put a ceiling there, which would just, I don't know, make nothing make sense. Now that I'm thinking of it, though, I could have actually, and really I should have actually, uh, should have kept it like that, put a ceiling there, and then... Uh, gone ahead and put like another more exclusive kind of lounge at the top of that that would have actually been genius but of course these ideas seem to only come around <laughs> once it's too late and uh yeah so again i hope you guys uh will forgive me for this massive massive mistake because really you know this building's function is a club so the fact that uh the the one thing that provides all the music and the dancing is the one thing that's causing the biggest problem. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> it's not a, it's not a fun thing to encounter, but what are you going to do? Uh, I hope you guys nonetheless do enjoy the building. Maybe you, uh, again, like I said, get inspired and use it for, I don't know, something else. Uh, and again, I've been asked a lot, a lot, a lot. It's almost every video uh, that I get asked about my gallery. Um, so yes, at this stage, I am sorry, but uh, there is no gallery at this moment. Um, and like I said, once I do come back from uh, Namibia, I will sort that out as quickly as I possibly can. And I believe around about that time is when the uh, City Life expansion or something, I'm not sure what it's called again. I believe by that time that one will have come out and uh, I can grab myself a copy of that as well. Um, which would be pretty cool because uh, I'm looking forward to that one really really eager eager beaver to see uh, what that one's got going on like I said in my previous video I really hope it's got a lot of extra small clutter items because <laughs> that's what I need the most not furniture but clutter items um, but yeah uh, it's separate bathrooms of course because uh, I don't like squashing things in like to an extent it's alright but I think if I had to go and squash in uh, bathrooms for male and female and like the same little small square just wouldn't work so yeah just uh, i mean they're pretty much identical well they are identical but uh yeah just uh separated them so i mean really i'm looking at this and i, I gotta say i'm quite fond of this building it, it did turn out pretty cool but uh knowing that now the whole dj booth thing kind of screwed over is, is pretty sad. I did, however, go ahead and make... It's not exactly a club. It's not a a, a, a venue, like a, a community lot. Um, it is residential, but um, it is probably one of the coolest places to throw a party at for, for your Sims or whatever. Um, because, really, it, it just... You'll see. You'll see. It is, I believe... Yeah, it's the next video. It should be the one after this. Um, it looks so, so super cool. I'm really, I'm quite happy with the way uh, it turned out. At the moment, it's actually not decided if it's going to be a house or a community lot. So I'm actually lying when I said it's it's residential. So we'll see. We will see. Um, it looks to be residential, but yeah, we'll see. And uh, there we go. Pretty much uh, finishing up there. 
And then of course in the screenshots, I just you know went ahead and moved the building to a different location. Uh, and then I did a few things at the back off camera again, um, which is this. I think it looks quite nice. Um, yeah, nice little f water tank thing there. I don't know, I thought it was a cool feature to the club. Really open space, dance floor, and some tables there by the aquariums, which is also pretty cool, I think. All in all, really, I'm, I am happy with this. It is just, again, pretty sad that uh, the functionality went down the drain. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to please leave a like and especially drop a comment. This is Moses getting ready to bounce.